食料保管庫を開放しろ俺たちに死ねって言ってんのかてめえらの仕事は何なんだよそれで給料もらってんだろうが責任者を出しやがれ逃げてるんじゃないお前らそれでも政府組織って言えるんかとっととよこしなさいよ早く There's no talking them down. Guess what the, I guess this is what the French Revolution must have felt like. This is exactly what Major Chinguji didn't want to happen. I gotta do something. Wardog 1 HQ, this is Lieutenant Tatsunami Hibiki. I have a proposition requesting permission to speak. I'm working under Major Chinguji's direct command. She told me what was she was planning to do. I propose to take her place and try to persuade the protesters to stand down, requesting permission to proceed. Come on. It's the only way to calm down this crowd. This is War Dog 1. I met one of the protesters yesterday together with Major Jinguji. I'd like permission to try and talk them down in her stead. I'll announce the plant's relocation. It's bound to happen any day now. Once work is completed, it'll improve both the food and job situation tremendously. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? It's pretty much the only thing that can convince them to go home. We won't get the situation under control otherwise. But I just told you that's what the Major decided to do. I'm not lying. I'm wasting time here. The crowd's gonna riot any time now. It's damn obvious they'll destroy everything in their way. Once that happens, the United States will have no choice but to intervene. That's why I'm asking for official authorization. This ain't the time for petty bureaucratic bullshit! People are this close to rioting. Take a look outside the window, you fucking idiot. I'm gonna do the exact same thing Major Jinguji was planning to do. And how the hell am I supposed to do that? Wave a magic wand and send the protesters back home? If people tie my hands and legs and expect me to work a miracle, I ain't Major Jinguji. I ain't Major Jinguji. What should I do? What would the Major do? Copy that. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Analyze the situation objectively. Decide which course of action to take, and do whatever needs to be done. Only a fool follows his orders like they're the word of God. Attention protesters! This is Lieutenant Tatsunami Hibiki of the 17th Flight, 1st Tactical Armored Battalion. I wish to speak with you. Please settle down. There are children among your ranks. They'll be the first to suffer if things get out of control. So I ask you again, please settle down. Please hear me out. I was here yesterday with Major Jinguji. I'm Lieutenant Tatsunami, acting under her direct command. I just want to talk. Right now, I'm. That ain't what happened. We didn't break our promise. Major Jinguji's collapsed from overwork and she's unconscious right now. I'm here to talk to you on her behalf. I knew this was gonna happen. Why would these people trust me when I haven't built enough of a reputation? I'll talk to you face to face, just give me a sec. <laughs> Are you shitting me? DEFCON 1? At the worst possible time. 
戦術機部隊は指定座標へ移動ファーク繰り返すサ,サイエンま,まさかな,なんだ何が起こってるんだ日本帝国シアトル居留区の新民の皆様シアトル行政局からの連絡です新繰り返しますベベータ嘘だろ俺たちを解散させるために立浪出撃だ移動するぞ俺たちがいなくなった方が連中も警報を信用する急ぐぞ<笑> Copy that. Wardog 1 to all Wardogs. It's code 991. We're moving out. Damn it all. Yes! K2! Can you hear me? K2! I'm going to ask you. Damn it! Tan Dal Jirai Setch Bhutai no Tsushin Kiki Ijo Jan Ai no Ka? Shokai no Renchu Ga Sore de Asette QQ Ichio. I doubt that. ダメですアメリカ軍地雷不設犯とも通信途絶反応ありませんなんてこと前回の襲撃から20日も経ってないんだぞ状況を知らせろあっしゃなるほど神宮寺少佐お体の具合は状況を報告しろと言った<笑> Bitch, I said. はっご申し訳ありません K2 紹介状及びアメリカ軍の地雷不設部隊との通信途絶衛星でのデータはまだ来ていませんすべての前哨戦術機部隊に通達直ちにポイント K1 に急行ただし当該ポイントからシアトルへの進行があるものと想定し想定的集団正面からの接近は避けよ交戦を許可するただし威力偵察の範囲にとどめ報告を最優先とせよ以上だ了解第一連隊第一戦術機構大隊に通達前期緊急出撃用意了解第一戦術機構大隊に通達前期緊急出撃用意アメリカ軍との直通回線開きます停滞睡眠させている紹介戦術機部隊からの連絡は紹介戦術機部隊の軌道は確認済みです紹介部隊より入電ベータ軍らしき温門を確認解析を急がせろアメリカ軍にも緊急出撃を要請しておけそれと国境警備に回された帝国戦術機部隊を戻すように依頼しろ了解警戒が裏目に出たかプラント移設に気を取られすぎたのか紹介部隊からデータ来ましたベータです推定数は1万以上計測データをモニターに出しますこれは近いおうおうアメリカ軍観測班からのデータですベータ軍は二手に分かれて上陸した模様あっグレーやつら万能弾の不設計を迎えしているのおうフォークベータ軍なおも増加中戦闘が反応弾防衛権を抜けます衛星データ来ましたデータ転送します全勝部隊をエリア74に集結させろそこを一時集結点とする帝国海軍はどうなっている紹介中の帝国艦隊は国境警戒に回されています肉間は出港まで最短でも15分です帝国海軍に伝達ケース37帝国陸軍は戦術機による地対戦闘を開始するケース37了解帝国海軍に通達しますアメリカにも通達しろ帝国陸軍はケース37を実行戦術機部隊は私が前線で指揮する了解間に合うのか Hard I fucking hope so どの隊を放置してきたけど本当に大丈夫かしら I mean Priorities, Ellen 聞かさないよ、エレンちゃんデータだって言うし Yeah 日吹これってでも解散のために帝国軍の芝居を打ってるわけじゃないわよね Yeah, there's no way it's a ruse. Crying Wolf is the last thing the Empire would do. Major Shinguji? She's back on her feet. K2 Looks like the battle will take place closer to Seattle than last time. ジッターハークまでには時間がかかると思われる。なお、敵集団戦闘はすでに反応弾防衛権を抜けたとみられている。ものしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうしゅうし
そのため今回は陸装ではないブーストジャンプで移動する推進剤は延元各所に設置されたデポにて補給せよ We're supposed to use the forward resupply stations. If we have to use them now, there will be barely any propellant left when we really need it. We're not fielding enough TSFs to run an operation like this. The numbers are below our standards, just like last time. Not a word about information coming from the LEO satellites. They must be having trouble changing orbit or something. That means our sensor coverage area is going to be lower, so we need to be extra careful out there. Group Lead or Ward One, I'm Tatsuna. Tatsuna, can you hear me? This is Ward One. It's good to hear from you. How are you doing, Major? I'm worried, but I'm not going to be able to sleep soundly. I'm okay. Don't worry. That's a lie. She still hasn't fully recovered. Well, no shit. The second and third units are in the air support area, but the flight is going to take a long time. The flight is going to be a little bit slow. Oh, fuck. Like, I know from seeing screenshots from the other, from the later episodes, she doesn't die here, but, uh, that's, I don't like that sound of that. Why not ask the entire 2nd Battalion to return? Why the hell is the 1st Squadron stuck at the border when the real enemy is knocking on our door? Didn't we go over this at the conference already? The Canadian forces ain't gonna try anything while the beta are on the offensive. Understood. Any word from the U.S. Air Force? Figured. That one rule is set in stone. Understood. Shit, I did it again. I really, really need to work on my poker face. Roger that. You got it, Major. Same the time. This ain't the same as carrying half for a load, but it's a start. Time to prove I ain't all talk and no action. Fuck yeah. Jingo, Jishou, sir. Kitai no jumbi wa dekita ka? Huh? Ano? Dou shita? I, i, nani mo nai nara ikuzo. Ah, hi. ご分を。清掃確認完了。すまんな。くすっと。整備艦取り解放完了。出撃可能です。出るぞ。少佐。お気を付けください。注意。推進剤補給の順番です。<笑> Gotcha. This is gonna come down to a dogfight, no question about it. Better fill up those propellant tanks to the brim. The primary defense line is almost ready. The fight's gonna start any minute now. ただし、第四役の帝国海軍並びに。アメリカ海軍本体の到着はまだ先になります。始まったわね。艦砲射撃とは海軍戦術機部隊でどれだけ減らせるかしらね。アメリカ海軍ってスーパーホーネットですよね。いや、those それ実際に大きな空母に乗ってますしね。というツッコミ待ちですか？あ、本当だ。くだらなすぎて気づきませんでした。そうですね。Shut it, guys. I swear, everybody's a critic these days. Looks like my crap joke helped brighten the mood. Still, Ellen's the one who called me out for it. She's so sharp sometimes. It's actually kind of scary. Anyway, we can't use reaction warheads this close to the city, so the American Imperial fleets are the base guns we got. Except we don't ha even have enough ammo to conduct a full-scale saturation attack. We need to make every shot count. That's the polar opposite of how a continuous barrage is supposed to work. Wardog 1 here. I read you loud and clear. Roger that. 
すまん少し待て難民キャンプだとなぜだすまん立浪一旦通信を切る Understood. Refugee camp. Did I hear that right? No、nah, no way. It's gotta be the protesters. It's gotta be that the protesters are back on the street or something. You're feeling complete. Nothing much. Oh, she's back. Group leader Reward Glass. Home from the Joe Hoda. Lost to state a beta gun no chibuga. Engan buni are die each nana bush shoe seki set me seki stay to the Joe Hoda. Cover that. I assume you want to advance to defend the facilities? Place is kilometers away from her current position, but these days securing our supplies is one of the topmost priorities. And I'm guessing she wants us to go back there, retrieve our supplies, and then return to the front lines. If I'm right, we'll be cutting it pretty damn close. So I didn't miss here earlier. Shit. Nothing, ma'am. Please continue. Maybe、so、they want to use the propellant, the depot, to blow the entire place to Kingdom Come, effectively wiping out the beta. Not a bad idea by itself, but. That's bullshit. Wait just a second. Are you saying we're gonna leave all those people at the mercy of the beta? I mean, she's right. Are you sure? There's that many. Yeah, it's physically impossible to take 300 people to safety on board four TSFs. They must have, I don't know, cars or something there. But even if they do, we'd need a small fleet to evacuate them. There's no way people living in extreme poverty will have that many vehicles fueled up and ready to go. Just hang on a moment. Just a moment, please. I, th I think that. I. Let me go scout ahead, please. Let me go. We're the ones closest to their camp. I'll convince them. Don't know how, but I'll make them see the light. There's a good chance they might listen if I can get on their good side. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. We don't know that. Of course I do, but I'll make it work somehow. You can count on it. Yeah, I know they have no right to be here. These people ain't doing their part in our fight against the beta. I can't deny that. They live outside the margins of society, benefiting from our protection but refusing to pull their weight. And that's wrong. But is that a good reason to let them die? These people aren't doing this because they're evil, it's because they're weak. When they're living in abject poverty, how could you expect them to know better? And these refugees have kids, you know? Are we really gonna let them die just like that? Go to their graves as ignorant as their parents? These kids deserve better. So why are we punishing them? I can't be right. There's no way in hell that can be right. Damn, I need to keep my temper in check. Yes, these are hard times. It's all the more reason why we can't allow the kids' potential to be nipped in the bud. I'm sure you agree, Major Jinguji. You gotta know I'm right. This ain't why I became a surface pilot. I keep fighting because I want to protect humanity from the beta. You can't just go and tell me to betray my own principles. <laughs> well, is that really something for me to decide? Can someone like me, a simple lieutenant, make a decision like that? 
No, that ain't right. Doesn't matter who I am. What matters is that I hold the fate of 300 people in the palm of my hand. This is a critical juncture. If I make the wrong choice, it will haunt me for the rest of my life. I can't run away. It ain't my place to decide who lives or dies. Who gives a crap about that right now? I need to prove to myself that I've got the backbone to make the hard choices. I can't answer that question, but I can tell you that people need to have something worth fighting for in these dark days, and I have to make a stand. It's what I need to do, so I can keep moving forward, trudging across all this sludge. It's what I need to do, so I never forget that I'm fighting for the sake of something greater than myself, even when I'm exhausted and ready to give up. We won't survive for long if we don't lend each other a helping hand, so I'm convinced ta talking things out with the refugees is the right call. I'll make it back in time, I promise. Maybe she's going to dismiss me on the spot. I couldn't blame her. This is insubordination. With all my heart. But no matter. I've already made up my mind. Even if I end up court-martialed, I'll go talk to him. Roger that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hell yeah. Why would people set up camp in an inhospitable place like this? You're completely exposed to the salt winds. Not to mention, it's gotta be a pain to secure potable water. Roger that. My name is Lieutenant Tatsunami Hibiki from the IJMDF's 1st Tactical Armored Battalion, 17th Flight. I wish to speak to one of your representatives. Considering the camp's location, I'm sure they make their livelihood by stealing from the supply depot nearby and then peddling the goods in Seattle. Doesn't change the fact that it's a terrible place to live in, all things considered. The other leader's a woman, huh? I'm Lieutenant Tatsunami. Let me get straight to the point. A herd of beta is on its way here. Please abandon the camp and find shelter immediately. The beta are getting closer as we speak. I can't guarantee your safety if you stay behind. Please evacuate. My apologies, but we can't do that. There's no way for us to stop the incoming beta with just our TSFs. I must ask you again to please evacuate this place at once. Okay, looks like I have a visual on them. Dilapidated boat. I what flag it was flying. There's women, children, and old people. Whole bunch of them, actually. Must be way over 300 people. We'll land 300 meters in front of the camp. I would love to, believe me, but that's physically impossible. You need to evacuate. It's not too late to find shelter. Look, Japan and the United States are both willing to take in refugees. You guys can lead a way better life there. It's gonna be okay. Seems there's only a handful of vehicles in the whole camp. I can tell at a glance that most refugees are in no condition to escape on foot. Maybe we should call a transport chopper to come pick them up? Nah, that's wishful thinking. It ain't gonna make it here in time. It's too soon to give up. There's still time to evacuate. <laughs> Even so, Shit. There's nothing I can say to that. Do they really plan on dying here? What's my play here? Should I get out of my TSF and talk to him face to face like the Major? No, there's no time for that. 
Every second it's been here jeopardizes the population in Seattle. Gotta wrap this up ASAP. Wait, please, what about your kids? Don't rob them of their futures. Yeah, I can't forgive what these guys are doing either. The kids are completely innocent here, so why won't they listen? I'm all out of time and I have no idea what to do. Shit, what should I do? That's right. This is how I felt like she was all alone in this world. She wanted to be together with people who love and support her. I understand. I won't just stand idly by. As long as I'm alive, I'll do whatever needs to be done. It's fine, Ellen. We better give up. Lieutenant Ellen Ace, this is a direct order. I apologize for that embarrassing display. We'll withdraw at once. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know if you're aware of this, but the beta eat people. Can you imagine being eaten alive? Having your flesh and bones chewed and crunched on as you watch? You wouldn't want your children to go through all that agony, right? I mean, you're only trying to look out for them. Going out together in a blaze of glory. So why not let me kill him instead? Gather them together in front of the TSF. Single 120mm canister round will do the trick. Kids will be chunks of meat before they can feel anything. No pain guaranteed. You can kill him yourself if you want, but I can kill him a lot more cleanly than you can. Come on, get to it. We're out of time. What are you standing around for? Do it! Want to die together with your kids? I'm happy to oblige. Just get your asses in gear and do it. We need on the front line to protect the people who actually want to survive. <laughs> They're terrified. Are you really gonna let them die? When there's a way to survive? For all we know, one of the kids here could have the power to save the world one day. Really gonna let your ego kill them? I gotta admit you're right. This world may be hell. There ain't enough food and water and our war with the bait is dragging on forever. If that wasn't bad enough, we even started fighting against other human beings. But you see, some people are working themselves to the bone to save this world. Which of course doesn't mean things will magically change overnight. I can't deny life will continue to be harsh and unforgiving, even if you evacuate. I won't promise you that everything will be alright eventually. So please believe me when I say I understand why you'd think your kids would be better off in the next world. But even so, I want you to live. It doesn't matter how painful it is. Children need their parents. Teach them how to read, teach them math, and make sure they know our history. Heck, maybe one of your kids will become the greatest service pilot mankind's ever seen, or a genius scientist who will save the world. The possibilities are endless as long as you're alive. That's why you can't surrender. I'm sure it won't be easy, but please, keep on living. Please apply for asylum. Give life in the United States another chance. If things still don't work out, you can give it a shot in the Empire. Yes, that's true. I'm sorry to say that's impossible this time. Japan has agreed not to accept any refugees without the United States' prior consent. And besides, considering the circumstances, 
Only the United States can spare the manpower to transport all the people here to safety. Yes. Very well. Under the terms of the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty, we will do everything in our power to defend you until you're finally under U.S. protection. We've cleared the first hurdle. Hailing nearby U.S. fleet, this is IJMDF 1st Regiment, 1st Battalion, 17th Flight. We have refugees seeking asylum in your country under our custody. We are requesting your cooperation in ensuring their safety under the terms of the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty. As for a TSF flight and transport helicopters to be dispatched at once. Here comes the hard part. To convince the Americans to spare some personnel when they have their hands full already. I'll get them to send someone to pick these people up even if it kills me. Oh shit. They just happened to hail the one TSF carrier with Major Walken on board? Talk about a stroke of luck. He's gonna listen to what I have to say now. Major Walken, Lieutenant Tatsunami, Major Jinguji's direct subordinate. I'm sure he knows who I am. I'm not that fond of my false reputation, but I'll throw its full weight around if that's what it takes. We discovered a refugee camp in the vicinity of the 17th Supply Depot. The refugees are requesting asylum in the United States. Let's do this. Lieutenant <laughs> Ace, do not interrupt our conversation. I'm the one speaking to the Major. If I remember the last meeting correctly, Major, you decided that if the American or Imperial forces find asylum seekers, their affiliation would be determined only after consultation with the other party. I also remember how you personally assured us that the United States would consider the request of anyone who wishes to apply for asylum. Of course I do, but no matter the crisis we're facing, I believe the ideals on which the United States was founded are still alive and well. That all men are created equal. That God gave all of us the absolute rights to life, liberty, and to pursue our own happiness. Everyone on the boxer used to believe in those words, with all their hearts. Those words expressed the greatness of the United States I knew. Major Walken, please. Please help me. You're their only hope. これらの権利を確実なものとするために人は政府という機関を持つ。その担当の存在を公表されたいま、たとえ亡命宣言がなくとも、日頃死にすれば我々自体の立場を危うくしかねえ。そして亡命宣言があれば上の説得も絶やす
Who knows how this whole thing might have turned out if the U.S. forces were involved from the start. Yes, great, we settled it. Can we get back to, like, the, the important shit now? We owe him one. Major Jinguji and Major Walking had things well in hand, as per usual. That time I learned to stop and think for a second before I act. Oh god. Yeah, and I, I noticed that Ellen had been real quiet. What's this now? What's wrong? Something troubling you? Lieutenant Ace, we're in the middle of an operation. I realize it might take a few hours, but please let me respond to, one, to that once we're back at the base. Yeah, I should have seen this coming. It was an awfully forceful way to get the job done. I wonder if she's furious with me. Well, if they'd taken me at my word, would have at least ensured the children were safe. But did I think that was a possibility? Just what was going through my head at the time. No, forget what I said. These people are never going to give up their kids, I'm sure of it. It's not that hard. Because all they needed, all they wanted, were a couple words of encouragement. To me, it seemed like Anna and the rest were, were waiting for someone to give them a push forward. I don't know what exactly gave them the resolve they needed. It could be what I said, your scolding, or perhaps even the kids crying, hard to tell. But I could tell that once they saw things weren't so bleak, they'd be ready to stand on their own two feet again. Yeah, that's it. So I convinced them life was worth living, huh? Well, yeah. That was the entire point of that little demonstration. Yes, yes we do. Understood. Our work here's done, people. Time to head back to the defense line. 